Hi, I'm Tam. I'm a bike mechanic at Go Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a puncture. As you can see, this tyre has got a puncture, so we're going to open it up and see if we can repair it or whether it needs a whole new inner tube. To get the inner tube out, first we've got to take the wheel out of the bike. So this is a quick release, so it's very easy. We're going to be using this puncture repair kit. It has everything you need in there. We got our tyre levers, patches, allen keys, sandpaper, glue and chalk. First to remove the tyre, pop it off the bead. You get three tyre levers so it makes it easy as possible to get the tyre off the rim. To remove the inner tube we're just going to quickly screw this off. First we're going to pump up the inner tube to find the puncture. After finding the puncture, we're going to use the chalk to mark where it is. Afterwards, we're going to use the sandpaper to rough up the area to aid adhesion between the inner tube and the patch. Then we're going to apply the glue, leave it for one minute so it's nice and sticky. Then we apply the patch. After you repaired your puncture, you can put it back in the wheel. Once you hear the popping noise and you can see this line all the way around the rim, you know your tyre is seated correctly. After bumping up your tyre, you can then put it back into the bike. And the last thing to do is put your lock ring on and your dust cap. If your inner tube is looking very sorry for itself, it might be time to replace it. To find the correct size inner tube, you can look on your tyre and it will tell you the wheel size and the width you'll need. I chose this inner tube because it's the correct size width and valve. It's important to choose the correct size valve for your rim because a Schrader will not fit into a Presta and vice versa. Before you insert your inner tube, make sure to put a couple of pumps of air into it so it won't fold or twist when you're inserting it into the tyre. Once you've got your tyre on, just make sure you're not pinching the inner tube. Just make sure you close your valve and tighten your lock ring. And then as a finishing touch, put your dust cap on. And then it can go back in the bike. There you go, now you know how to repair a puncture using a puncture repair kit or by changing an inner tube. Just one thing before you go, if you get a puncture out on the trails and you don't have an inner tube to hand, you can try this to get you out of the woods. First we're going to find the puncture, then we're going to tie knot in it, making sure no air is escaping while we're pumping it up. The tyre is fairly soft, but remember there is a knot in the inner tube so we can't pump it up too hard in case it won't hold. This is only an emergency solution to get you rolling off the trails. So there you go, it's a quick trail site hack for an emergency situation and I hope it helps you one day. Mm -hmm.